fine so what you have to do is you have to note down the mechanism you have to go through the mechanism you have to map that mechanism in your mind you have to practice it writing the whole mechanism on a on paper by yourself if you do that then this reaction is yours any twist any question you can cope up well so we'll be solving certain problems and during the problems i'll try to be a little fast so if better you know the mechanism very well before you listen any further note down the mechanism and equip yourself with that mechanism now the next thing to know would be suppose i have been given the aldol and i have to identify which carbonyl compound has resulted into this aldol so you have to learn to go backward so the way you have quickly you have to go backward is at this stage you have to divide the whole compound into two part one having this h and one having this oh right and then the two part individually will give you the carbonyl compound if you remove this the ch3coch2 then you add a hydrogen from your side because this base abstracted the hydrogen right so you have to add one more hydrogen from your own side so this is ketone and that's the ketone we started with when you go from the other side this is ch3coh what you do is you convert that coh into c double bond o because at this stage c double bond o was broken and that's how you got coh so when you are going back you have to reconstruct that c double bond o and then you make the coh as c double bond o so you have ch3co ch3 and that's what we started with so you have to be a little quick how to get back the carbonyl compound which gave this aldol and if you have aldol condensated product if after condensation the product that we are having if you have to look from that then you have to sub cut off from this end this c double c carbon making c double bond c so you have to cut from the carbon which is just adjacent to c double bond o from that stage you will cut off and left hand side will give you the carbonyl compound the right hand side which is making c double bond c make that c double bond o and that's how from the right hand side you will get the carbonyl compound okay you have to be quick to get this because this has will be utilized in the problems that we are going to solve ahead so you have to learn to quickly identify the carbonyl compound which is giving these products so give some time into it okay so before solving uh, uh problems let, let's quickly uh, get ourselves acquainted i'm giving you some trivial problems of aldol condensation and you give me the product the condensated product and non condensated product that means you will give me just the aldol and you'll give me the alpha beta unsaturated carbonyl compound after the condensation suppose we have ethanol and i added dilute koh so give me the product now for these three cases you practice writing the mechanism of aldol condensation and reaching to the final product all by yourself if you can do this you'll get this reaction under your armpit so do try to find out the product i'll give you the product anyways but try to solve it on your own and then match your answers uh this time i'm not going to show any mechanism i will discuss a little bit but moreover i'll try to write the pr product directly and the mechanism you have already learned so it shouldn't be a problem for you so here the reaction will start like this this base is going to abstract a carbon from a hydrogen from this carbon so this carbon is going to develop a negative charge this carbon after developing a negative charge is going to attack another ethanol which has not reacted yet so when that happens you get this the negative charge here came and attacked this c double bond o so this negative charge appears on this oxygen after protonation you become you get a neutral ald 
all. This is indeed aldol. You have aldehyde group and you have alcohol. This is aldol. When you heat it, then there would be alpha beta unsaturation. And the compound will be alpha beta unsaturated carbonyl compound. So this will be the product from the first reaction. Similarly, we can go for the second reaction. In the second reaction, the base will abstract carb hydrogen from this carbon because it will not abstract from the third carbon because there will be no resonance possible from the third carbon. It will abstract hydrogen from the second carbon. It will abstract hydrogen from alpha position because resonance is possible only from alpha position. So, when hydrogen is abstracted from here and this carbon go and attack the next unreacted carbonyl compound, then the intermediate look like 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 this. This hydrogen goes and attack the alpha hydrocarbon came and attacked this C double bond O. So it will look like this. Fine. After protonation, this will become neutral. So this is the aldol. When you heat this, when you heat this, there will be condensation. So this hydrogen and this OH goes away in the form of water. And this is the condensated product of aldol condensation. Fine. Okay. Similarly, in this case, you have two possible alpha position and those two possible alpha position are not similar. So there will be two kinds of aldol condensated product. When you abstract a carbon, when a hydrogen from this carbon, carbon number three, one, two, three, four. When you abstract a hydrogen for carbon number three and that carbon number three goes and attack another unreacted carbonyl compound, then that will give you one kind of product. Let's start from carbon number three. Suppose you abstract hydrogen from carbon number three and carbon number three went and attack unreacted carbonyl compound. So this is the unreacted carbonyl compound. Fine. And carbon number three came and attacked this. So when it attacked this, oxygen will have a negative charge. And this is carbon number three. Fine. If this is carbon number three, Fine, this is carbon number 3. Can you see this? 1, 2, 3. Fine. So, after protonation, this will become OH. And after, when you heat this, there will be condensation. And this hydrogen and this OH is going to go away in the form of water. And this is the condensated product. This is when you attack from carbon number 3. But base can abstract hydrogen from carbon number one as well because carbon number one is also alpha carbon because it is directly attached to C double bond O. And if negative charge is developed on carbon number one, it also has the facility to do resonance with C double bond O. So let's look at the second case when the base abstracts carbon number one and carbon number one goes and attack other unreacted this but butanone. So when carbon number one comes and attacks, This is, uh, let me draw it up. Can I draw it like this, writing C2H5 downwards? Now this is the carbonyl compound. And this is carbon number one. If carbon number one has negative charge, this is how it will come. When it attacks this carbonyl compound, this is how the bonds will be formed. And when after, when it becomes neutral, it will have OH. And again, when you heat it, water will come out. And this is the alkene that you're going to get. This is the unsaturated carbonyl compound that you're going to get. So, 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 these are the two possible products that are possible. Fine. So, if you have two alpha, alpha carbon, then there are two alpha, kind of alpha hydrogen and reaction base can abstract hydrogen from any one of them. 
and correspondingly you will have two possible products in aldol condensation.